Now we will create a coordinate system. Highlight the CS layer, set this as current, and click OK. Next, choose the top view button. This will give us the scanner's point of view. We will set our coordinate system at the lower left of the plan. This will be used as a 90 degree working plan model. Using the mouse, navigate to the inside of the corner. Make sure that you are in perspective mode as this helps us achieve a natural view of the scan. We will now create surfaces on the X-plane, the Y-plane, and the Z-plane, which in this case is the floor. Select a plane and right mouse click. Choose Region Grow, then Patch. The window will appear. Simply click OK. At times, it is not uncommon to receive a slow operating warning. If this appears, just click Don't Ask Me Again. Now we have created a patch on the first axis. Now we will create a patch on the second axis. Right mouse click, choose Region Grow, then Patch, and again click OK. Now, a patch on our second axis has been established. Now, choose a point on the final axis and create a patch as before. We have now created patches on all three axes. Now, return to the Layer button, choose Selectable Visible, and deselect the point clouds. Now, clear the selections by pressing the spacebar. Select the Multi-Pick tool and select all three patches. Right mouse click and choose Extend All Objects. This will tighten up all three planes to create a more consistent alignment. Now we will create a vertex. Choose Create Object. Toggle down to From Intersections, then choose Vertex. This places a vertex at the intersection of the three patches. Rotate around to the back side of the corner. Now, choose the View tab and click View Coordinate System. Then, choose Set to Object. Now, we have the X, Y, and Z scanner location populated on the object. We will now set the coordinate system using a two-axis point. Select the multi-pick tool and highlight both walls. Then click View, Coordinate System, then set to two axes, then choose X and Y. Now the alignment of the walls is complete. Again click View, Coordinate System and choose Save. Save the coordinate system using the default settings. Then choose OK. After saving, return to the Layers button. Choose Selectable Visible 
and reactivate the point clouds. Then choose OK. Now click Top View in order to see a perfectly aligned 90 degree parallel plan view. Then choose the orthographic mode to see that the mode is level. Finally, choose the Layers icon, choose Selectable Visible, and shut down the coordinate system. Then, set the default as current. Using a Fence tool and the Limit box, we can now isolate the area to be modeled. Choose the top view in order to obtain a God's Eye view of the model. In order to obtain a better view of our model, we must eliminate the unnecessary external data. Select the Fence tool and surround the area to be modeled. Right mouse click, choose Fence, and then choose to Delete Outside in order to delete the data outside the fence. Now return to the left view. Use a rectangle fence to eliminate the noise on the bottom of the model. Right mouse click and choose Fence and then delete inside the selected area. Now return to the top view. Click View Mode and center the model on the screen. Next, choose View from the toolbar. Select Set Limit Box by Cursor. Place the mouse in the center of the model and expand. Choose the left view icon in order to see another elevation. Isolate the model again by dragging the orange square grips up and down. Return to the top view. Now, grab the limit box and pull it either to the left or right. The area that we pass over is removed. This isolates a section of the model. Change elevations to have different views of the isolated area.